Good day. My name is Grace Situndu Bilonda. I am a supervisor at FSSEC. I've been working here for the past four and a half years now. Um, I did not start as a supervisor. I started as a junior part-time facilitator. And then along the years, I got to learn a lot about this job. And then finally, got promoted to being a supervisor, which I enjoy very much on a daily basis. Um, at this point, International Women's Day means a lot. I could not explain this in just one sentence or in just one sitting. It's a broad concept on looking at how the rights of women have progressed over the years and how women are feeling and fitting into um, the, the working place. When I talk about feeling, it's all about being accommodated, being understood, and also given the opportunity to do uh, whatever they were called to do and also uh, learn along the years throughout their experience at work. And I said fitting in because in most cases or in past years, uh, working was a challenge for women in terms of raising children or family or whatever reason it could be. But along the years, as I mentioned earlier, we've seen that this day has promoted rights for women and a lot has changed and I can definitely testify for it. And the working place has becoming more and more accommodating for all the ladies out there. So um, this department, FSASEG, in terms of accommodating women on how they treat women. I wouldn't say there's a special treatment for ladies, but we are all treated the same. The gentlemen as well as us ladies, we are all in one. When we come to work, we don't really look at the other person as being a man and this being a woman, but we are all a team. We all have the same rights. We enjoy the same atmosphere. And I can even say that we even have um, a policy where if a woman is going through maternity, like myself, I got comfortable. It was not a big deal at work dealing with maternity or raising children or taking care of a family. That's why I said, I don't see much difference. For me, it's just a natural thing. And um, the challenges I've encountered as a woman in power, in a dominating man industry. I, 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 I don't really consider myself as a woman in power, but talking about um, working environment where it's most dominated by male, um, at this point, at this age, I would say, so far, that is my own experience. I have not felt the difference yet. I have not felt discriminated against or treated differently from men. Maybe differences are out there, but myself, talking about my own experience, I have not experienced it so far. So the challenges, I would say, will be to fight for years to come for other ladies or women out there that are still facing issues with this, um, in this industry, sorry, to acquire rights to feel comfortable and be treated equally. And uh, a little, I wouldn't say it's a challenge, but it's just an adjustment. It's how we feel when we have to raise children and come to work at the same time. Sometimes family responsibilities tower over our work, but it does not happen every day and we always manage. And um, the, 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 the working place has made this, or FSSEC has made this transition smooth and I have not complained so far. And what are the factors affecting your efficiency? Um, as a woman, uh, none. In a country such as South Africa, at EFSA sake precisely, I don't have factors that hinders me from performing my job or factors that affect, affect me negatively, but I have factors that help me get better day by day. My efficiency today is improved through training, 
We always have trainings to improve our performance. There are always um, seminars or workshops that are open to improve um, our knowledge for, for this job or whatever position one has. And so far, we've grown. We've had the, the opportunity to have a great director who trained us very well. And at this point, all the supervisors or all the, the line managers we've had always promote our growth in, in performance in terms of, as I mentioned, trainings and all these workshops and making sure that we are the best version of ourselves. So factors, yes, there are, as I mentioned them. And at this point, more is to come because we're being prepared to excel and because um, we are a center of excellence, obviously. So at this point, everything is working great and looking forward to always bringing great testimonies to such events such as International Women's Day. Thank you.